Okay. Oh my gosh, I this is this is like a historically good question. So I'm, I want to go ahead and like tackle this. Do you think that using KeePass for saving your passwords and your two-factor authentication codes is a good idea? So um, this is a question that's come up a lot um, over the years, and I kind of evolved my opinions over time, but I think overall it's overall stayed the same. So really the question here, here is, should you store your multi-factor authentication codes inside of your password manager where your passwords exist? I'm gonna give you some pros. The pros, obviously convenience. Um, two, you're still getting a lot of security, right? Because the main reason we have multi-factor, like the, the main attack that we see out in the wild is there's a data breach and they leak your password and you know people are going to go on they're going to get your email they're going to get the leaked password they're going to put it in and they're going to get into your account if you have mfa set up they're going to go oh crap there's mfa can't get in you you can still do that you have the same amount of protection whether or not your mfa is in your password manager the likely attack vector is not someone hacking into your password manager the likely attack vector is a specific service or multiple services being caught in a data breach that leaks some of your information. This is why it's very important to use strong, unique passwords, and that's what a password manager comes in. And it's also why it's good to have multi-factor authentication, even if it's in your password manager, because then if there is any of that leakage, then they still won't get access into the account. So those are kind of the pros and why I think it's good. And it overall, like if, if you don't have MFA at all and what's stopping you is you don't know whether or not to set up MFA in your password manager, do it right now. Because having MFA in your password manager is hands down objectively going to give you better security than having no MFA and just a password manager. So I already wanna start with that. In terms of cons, I think this is very obvious and it's why people ask the question. You have everything in one place. So while that is an issue, here are the situations, the specific situations where I think it is an issue. One, there's endpoint security, right? So you have, let's say KeePass, you ask about KeePass. Let's say you have KeePass, a password manager that's installed on your computer. But let's say your timeout is set to one hour and let's say you're at a coffee shop, you leave your computer unlocked, KeePass is still unlocked, there's no timeout, you go to the bathroom, someone takes your laptop. Now they have access to all your passwords and all your MFA in one place. Whereas if you had a multi-factor authentication separate from that, like maybe on your phone, they would have had to take both devices and they would have had to unlock both devices to get into your most sensitive accounts. So endpoint security is improved when you're able to migrate MFA onto a different device or like a different program even that's locked with a different password. Anything you can use to separate will give you better security. The other situation where it's beneficial, this is extremely rare, and I think it is the more common thing people are concerned about, is some kind of password manager data breach, where your password manager itself leaks all the data to some hacker or a hacker breaks into your password manager remotely. I wanna make this clear, highly unlikely to ever happen. Even the worst password data breaches that we saw with LastPass, I don't believe like ever leaked necessarily like everyone's MFA and passwords all in one place. So even if you use LastPass during their crazy data breach with MFA in LastPass, you still would have been pretty well off at the end of the day, but I still don't recommend it if that's your main concern. So this is always gonna come back to being a threat model question. I personally do not keep my 2FA codes with my password manager, um, mainly because it's so convenient nowadays to keep it separate. So back in the day when it was just Aegis and like, you know, something for iOS, but they didn't even sync. Um, it was hard to do that. And back then I was more open to saying like, yeah, just keep it in your password manager because it's far more convenient. But I'm gonna be real, like I'm using ProtonPass and NTAuth right now. And the convenience factor isn't that different. Like NTAuth has cloud syncing, so it can be on all of my devices. It's a really clean interface, super clean to use. And ProtonPass, you know, I've already made my thoughts clear. I think it's a wonderful password manager, super efficient, super convenient. And yes, technically, like it would save me a few seconds maybe, like each time I'm logging in uh, via ProtonPass because it would auto fill in the TOTP code. But like, it's not that inconvenient. So um, pretty much, I think that if you're able to do it and you're willing to try a different service, give it a shot. I actually think that we're getting to a place now where it's pretty easy and not that big of a deal for me to re recommend keeping them separate, mostly because of NTAuth and 2FAS and all these services that are making 
TOTP both open and easy to use and still secure. So those are my thoughts, kind of ranty. Either way, do not just not enable MFA because you're concerned about the password manager thing. Um, at minimum, just put in your password manager if that's what's holding you back. Otherwise, if you wanna be better, um, move it to its own dedicated place. This clip came from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights and how to keep yourself and the people around you safe online, as well as just reclaiming a little bit more ownership. If you enjoy this content, want more nuance, and want a little bit more of a deep dive, check out our main channel here on the screen or in the description, and we'll see you there.